the Fresh Inspiration Show community. Welcome in. We're at the Fresh Inspiration Ranch. This is the second week that I've come in in Fab Friday, and I hope you're enjoying it. The water is warm. Come in and really enjoy the coziness, because this is where it is. Mindset Transformation Entertainment. And every time that I bring something to you, I want you to be able to feel the passion, the excitement, so that you bring it here to your heart and you go, yes, yes. Because what, what we're doing here in the show is what I want to be able to help with the community to be able to transition out of that BS that we get so stuck in and we feel something, something that's pushing us down or we just feel a little, you know, wonky, <laughs> a little wonky. So today, let's talk about passion and mindset and really setting things up. Have you ever said, I don't have time for this? I don't have time to go meditate. I don't have time to go hang out with my friends. And you start making your list. Have you ever felt that maybe it wasn't your time to go hang out with your friends because you had all these other things to do? Have you ever felt or said, that my all my aches and pains is because I'm older and that's what happens and I'm just old I'm getting old that's what happens when you get old these are things that I've been hearing in 20 years of the health industry mindset but if we have the mindset struggle then we can't get to our passion and that's the scariest thing two times this week I was with clients that were launching businesses and it was a space to hold, to watch somebody deal with their stuff so that they could have their breakthrough. And it took one client almost 45 minutes before she finally saw all these people in her business that she wanted to connect with, the people that were asking for her help. And she just couldn't see it because she was so afraid. Because during launch time, you have your own struggles. Same thing if you're in a seasoned business, that you feel that struggle and you can get lost and your income flow can go down. Now, why this is important is because a lot of the people in our community, like you, we're trying to find that mindset transformation so that we can run business, live lifestyle, and be able to create something in our passion to be able to change this world. With all the stuff going on throughout the year of 2020, 2021, it's going to feel fabulous getting out there and locking arms with others. So let's get into it. First question, as the founder of this show and the pool hanging, the person hanging out in the pool is what did you do today? for yourself that helped in a new way or was enough work to get you in that transition where you felt like you could feel it here in your heart. And you're like, yeah, I got this. If you've already done that, I'm just here to add another layer. If you haven't had a chance, Make sure you stay with me even more so that we can really discuss this and get this moving along. Please add any comments down there below if there's anything that really grabs you. Morning routine is a thing that just seems almost like part of our life. And if, it, if you're not there, keep coming and playing. Once you get connected with the aches and pains you have, with things that stop you, with fears, and not just going into your day and thinking, well, that's just how the day is. That's just how it is. And you just keep working and working until the afternoon you're finally rocking and you feel good and, and, and you get to that point. But what about all those hours before you got to your deep passion. You know the one that that allows you to feel like, yes, you got this. I'm, um, I have a pool cleaner. And the pool cleaner decided it wanted to wrap around me. 
So this is what happens. Spontaneity. Think about your day when something just go gets in your way. Do you allow it to hold you back? Yes, maybe sometimes. But what about when you really just let it flow? And instead of going that straight line, you know, like if you're in New York and you're around tons of people and you're just walking in that straight line right down the city block and you're just in your groove, but you're just... If you opened up and you allowed yourself the space to really create, and make, make a left here and a right zigzag here and a little twist and a little shimmy. And people would look at you weird and you go, yeah, because I'm just being myself. And then you get to really feel the silliness of who you are. That's like your morning routine. And when you start seeing the true you and how you interact with groups, how you interact with yourself, when you're by yourself, are you tearing yourself down? How's your relationship with yourself? in the day because now you're not expecting yourself to do something a hundred percent but you're but you're allowing yourself to do increments of your big projects and now you feel like you're really dialed in and that's what you need when you are working and clearing your mindset so get in there do your morning routine so that you can bring in and connect the trust within yourself and the heart. It takes a moment sometimes to get to the heart. I don't think in our families a lot that we were taught the safety of living in your heart because connecting with community and groups, that's your tribe, that's your safety. And we cut off that heart because we believe we need to retract because we've been taught that way. It makes a big difference. Being in your heart is what challenges you because it brings wiseness and you feel lifted in the way that feels right for you. And now you got this. I hope this Fab Friday served you. We've had some people coming in and out, but I can't wait till you see this in recording. So I'm going to end it right here. But what I want to tell you is we have a lot of great experts that we bring to you. That's me locking arms so that we all work together as a community. And the more that you get connected with this group and stuff, and if you want to be a, a star on the show, please connect with me. If you have something in your speaker business that you want to tweak or just feels like something's going wrong, I have CPA stuff, CPA work behind me. So I understand processes, policies, and being able to streamline a business. Also to do that though, is the deep work of mindset. And the way that I got there was I chose an interesting route and I was ready I was ready to be off thyroid medicine hypothyroid I noticed things were happening in my body that medicine was not helping me anymore or I was just gonna keep increasing and increasing my medicine I said no more and as soon as I stopped taking that medicine I could feel my heart I noticed I was connecting with myself more and it was a veil that came off me when all of a sudden I started hearing myself talking to myself. But when I was younger, I remember certain people talking to me like this and I could finally hear it. And it was such a precious time. I'm very proud that I'm working my way to be right here with you as I work and do my work every day, my love to you in the work that you're working on and what you want. What are the big goals that you want? What are you looking for? Give yourself that space so you can get here in your heart. Hold that space for yourself. Feel it right in the nervous system. Bring it to the top of your head. 
down into the spine. This is what Fab Friday is about. Sweet. Love you. Keep the entertainment going with that mindset. Namaste.